Take the Altair 4X out of the multi-unit charger. Green light indicates that the Altair 4X is fully charged. Red light shows that the Altair 4X is still charging. Briefly press the on-off button to switch the instrument on. The Altair 4X is now performing a self-test. All display segments will be activated for a short period of time and acoustic and vibration alarms as well as LED signals will be tested. The display then shows the following information. The manufacturer's name, the product name, the software version, the running sensor discovery, the type of combustible gas being detected, the measurement units chosen for toxic gas, the alarm set points for the low alarm, for the high alarm, for the short term exposure limit, for the workplace exposure limit, the calibration values, the current time and date, and the date of the last calibration. When FAS is displayed flashing, please perform the fresh air setup. To do so, press the on off button briefly. Important, do not activate the fresh air setup unless you are certain you are in an environment with fresh, uncontaminated air. Otherwise, inaccurate readings can occur. Insert the switched on Altair 4X into the Galaxy GX2 automatic test station to perform the daily bump test. Normally, it will take approximately 40 seconds. When the bump test is successful, it will be shown on the Galaxy GX2 display. Take the Altair 4X out of the test station. The instrument's display shows a check mark for the next 24 hours after successful bump testing. The Altair 4X is ready to use. The Galaxy GX2 will inform you if the bump test and subsequent calibration are not successful. Take out the Altair 4X. The multi-gas detector is not ready to use and needs an inspection. If you should enter a hazardous area, the Altair 4X will activate acoustic, visual and vibrating alarms. In this case, leave the hazardous area immediately.